Today's video is specifically for your neck, shoulders. So out of all the requests I get, this is the tightest area in our body, you see our neck and our shoulders. Now let me show you something that happens when we slouch, our neck and our shoulder, our, our head is about 10 pounds. Now, every time it pulls forward like this, our neck and our shoulders have to take the brunt of that weight. And every time our, fit, our body goes down about 10, 15 degrees, it puts an extra 10 pounds on our neck and our shoulders. So when you're sitting like this, tall posture, everything is stacked proportionately. No extra energy is being exerted to hold up your head. The minute we do this, everything starts tightening and cramping to the shoulders. So when you're at a 45 degree angle, it's basically like you're holding a six or seven year old on your back for your whole day. So think about that. So start by sitting up nice and tall. Now we're gonna start with some sideways figure eights. So just going like this and don't be alarmed if you're hearing a lot of clicks and creaks in your neck. Just going back and forth. Close your eyes and are uniting your breath with your movement. Inhaling for one figure eight and exhaling for the next one. If you just have a couple seconds in the middle of your day, especially if you're just on a telephone call, this is a good one to do. It just keeps the neck really open. And obviously if the neck is tight, the head and the brain don't like it. So that's the thing that's gonna affect our mood. So come up nice and tall. Now shoulder rolls, rolling them up, back and down. Good, just getting loose here in this area. It's kind of like digging up weeds in a garden. Doesn't maybe feel amazing right away, but it's gonna feel good after. So as you're rolling your body, you're opening up a lot of tense spots. Now what I want you to do is roll your elbows around, like you're drawing circles with your elbows, almost like you're doing a backstroke in swimming. So opening up as you move more into the lungs and the heart, this is getting everything in your circulatory system moving. Remember how you move your body is how it affects your life, your thoughts, your behaviors, your mood. So this small little sequence right here will start to really open up and activate your mind. Good, now I'm gonna get you to take your hands behind the chair, or what you can do is come a little further forward and interlace your hands behind your back, whatever feels good for you. And we're gonna drop our chin down and rock our chin back and forth, side to side. Again, lots of clicks going on usually. This will help to keep the neck very open. Good, one more on each side, and then come all the way up to sitting. Okay, what we're gonna do is now is take our head down to one side. This is obviously gonna stretch the side of the neck. What often happens is the shoulder pops up. So take your hand and just bring it across and down and just gently press it down. Now you can do one of two things to add on a little bit. You can take your hand to your head and just gently pull it over. Close your eyes, keep that shoulder dropping down. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Really feeling that energy move through the side of the neck. Good. One more breath in. And then we're just gonna keep doing the same one. We're gonna fold onto the side of the chair and lean over a little bit. So take your hand and just reach under the chair. Or what you can do is turn the palm down, fingers facing in, and just sit onto your hand. That will be really good for your forearm as well. So either grabbing the side of the chair leaning a little bit, and that will help to pull your shoulder down. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Good. Now, if you experience headaches a lot, this is a great one to do, a preliminary one if you feel a headache coming on, or you can do it on a regular basis and that will help to prevent them from coming. Now, take your head and look down. Take your hand behind your head and gently pull down. Then it'll get into the opposite shoulder blade here, which stores lots of tension. Take a big breath in and a big breath out and rise up. Pause in the middle with your palms down, shoulders back. Take a full inhale, take a full exhale. One more breath and release. Good, so taking your head to the other side now, dropping it down. You'll notice what side is tighter. So how, see how this feels. Maybe lift your chin up and down a little bit. Take a long breath in, make sure that shoulder is pulling down. One more full breath here. And then lift your hand up, gently pull over, relax your shoulders away from your ear. So keep pulling the shoulders down continuously. Eyes closed, breathing deep into the base of your belly. Good. 
And then what you can do now is you can sit onto your hand like this or hold here and just lean over to the side, almost like you're gonna fall off your chair. I like the one doing this because I feel it opens up my forearm as well. So releasing your body down, you can keep your hand on the armchair if you have one or on your leg. Just imagine that you're leaning in that direction. Close your eyes, maybe lifting the chin up and down a little bit. You always wanna keep the neck really open. And take your hand and look to the side and down and gently pull down. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Good, one more inhale and exhale. Good, gently coming up and releasing your shoulders. We're gonna take one hand on top of the other, start to wiggle your hands back, almost like you're trying to touch your fingers behind you. Now you won't actually do that, but just have that intention. So from the side, it looks like this, rather than down, elbows are up. I'm gonna get you to lean back slightly and pull your elbows towards the screen. Slightly check, tucking your chin down. This will start to break up tension and pull the shoulder blades apart at the back. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. If you wanna try take, adding on, taking that bottom arm, bringing it up so the back of the hands come attached. So the arm that's going under, try to touch your nose just to get an idea of what's going across. So the nose that is, or the hand that's touching the nose, try to see if you can grab on to your thumb or maybe even like this. Just works for you, whatever works for you. Good, so either here or here. Now with this one, keeping elbows up, pretend I'm still facing the screen. I'm gonna lean backwards and gently pull my forearm towards the screen. If you like, you can start to come down like this. This, you'll feel it a lot in the upper back, the shoulder area. Keep squeezing your forearms together or keep squeezing the opposite shoulders. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Good, roll all the way up. Open up your arms, take a full breath in, expand your lungs and take the other arm across. Wiggle it over. Good, so elbows kind of on top of each other, but if you want, you can bring them across more. Lean your shoulder blades back, pull your elbows towards the screen, close your eyes feeling the body start to open and come alive. The more that you start to do this on a regular basis, the less headaches you will get, the more positive you'll feel. Again, it's so connected. What we do with the mind affects the body. And then roll all the way up, taking your arm up and trying this up and reaching around, either pulling forwards and leaning down or keeping your arms like this. Close your eyes and loop into it. So yes, what we do with the mind affects the body. So the thoughts that we have, the stress that we hold starts to get lodged in our physical body. The mental body always causes the physical body to tighten up, but then it's, and it goes in reverse as well. If you're tight in your physical body, it's going to start to stress you out. So really staying open in your thoughts when you're doing this, try to just stay in your body. Take a full breath in, the breath will always relax and balance the nervous system and then roll all the way up and release. Good, a few last shoulder rolls here. Maybe taking your hands behind you, heart forward, take a big breath in, interlace your hands, come all the way up, reach up and take your hands behind your head. Just pause here with your shoulders dropping down. If you want, stay here a little bit longer in this pose with your back slightly arched, really opening up the shoulders and the neck. Thank you so much for joining everybody.